Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to something a little bit different. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you may or may not know that I'm actually a pretty huge fan of a YouTuber called Kathleen Lights. She is a beauty guru and she is absolutely my favorite YouTuber. And I'm not just saying that, I actually don't really watch anybody else when it comes to kind of beauty and makeup and stuff like that. I have like half of her palettes, half of her nail polish collection. I, th I actually think right now everything on my face is stuff that either Kathleen wears or Kathleen recommends. So I'm pretty hardcore, I would probably say. If you're into makeup and you don't actually know who Kathleen Lights is, I've left the link down below so you can go and check out her channel and subscribe to her because honestly, she is unbelievable. So I was kind of just chilling last night watching YouTube on the TV in quarantine, you know, as you do these days. And I noticed Kathleen had uploaded her tour of her new beauty room, which has been kind of much awaited. So I started watching that. And then I think about like two minutes into it, I had to immediately turn it off because there's house plants in it. I am so, 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 so happy about this. I can't even tell you, I really can't. Because I know that recently in the background of her videos, she's had a big Strelitzia plant. So it did get me thinking when I was watching these, maybe she's got other plants. Maybe she might be getting into plants and it would be so amazing if she did. So it would appear that she does have some plants in her beauty room. So I'm gonna watch this and I'm gonna react to it. Wow. Here we go. Welcome to my crib. <gasps> There's plants already. Oh my God, there's an air plant there already. <gasps> there's a Strelitzia I mentioned before. Some house plant books already. See, there's a lot. This is why I started watching this video and then I immediately paused it because I was like, okay, there's some stuff in here. There's some stuff. My pots on the wall. I get so many ah. questions about these. These little white pots are actually from Amazon, but I had them set up by somebody else. I will link her Instagram down below. De La Villa. She actually did this for me. She lives in Miami and she has her own little business where she does things like this. And she's so sweet. She's really amazing. If you're in Miami, check her out if you want something I love like those. This. She designed it herself. And the I can't hang things on my walls because I rent. So anything like this, I'm automatically really jealous of. Plus they would be really good for cuttings in those pots. I can't tell if there's any drainage though. I don't know. Like that's the thing with pots like that. They look really good, but it's like how how workable are they? How usable are they? How easy are they to take care of the actual plants in them? And it's really cute because the plants actually have Oh it's a little parlor palm right there, looking very cute, gotta say. They stay pretty small, so they're pretty ideal for stuff like this. Also, my plants are dying, but I want to say like four of these are pretty What is that? Different. We can get a little zoom in on this uh what this is that? Right here. This guy Sorry, I'm gonna have to like, I've got like the worst eyesight in the world, by the way. I should have really put my glasses on for this. I can't tell what that is. I think it's, is it a peperomia? It kind of looks like peperomia. It looks a little bit to me like peperomia caperata, but I can't tell because it's, it's kind of shriveled a little bit. So peperomia can have anywhere from kind of low to pretty bright light, but the thing with them is you, they don't like being overwatered at all. I mean, no plant does, don't get me wrong, but peperomia in particular do not like being overwatered. So you need good drainage. So I don't know if she hasn't watered that and that's a result of just, you know, it's because it's irritating because it's on the wall and it's hard to water it or she has watered it and it's not being able to drain because of the pot that's on the wall. So I can't really tell. Maybe she might say in a minute if she's watered it or not, I don't really know. If it is in a pot like that, needless to say, the water can't go anywhere. So any excess water you give it can't drain. Not only that, but the roots can't actually get, you know, oxygen because I don't know if people know this, but roots do actually need oxygen in order to grow, which seems a bit ridiculous because it's in soil, but it does. That's kind of how they thrive. This guy? Almost, almost. Oh, now she's dead, in dead. I want to say. And then I'm also struggling to keep these two alive right What here. is that one? I can't tell what that is. I actually, from here, I cannot see what that plant is. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is. I'm not a plant I'm not person. sure. I blame the Aquarius in me. I really, I cannot keep plants <laughs> alive. I'm surprised they're not fully dead. Okay, because this, these have been on my wall for weeks. I don't know how some of these are weeks. still surviving. I'm trying my best. I mean, we water them. Yeah, so she does water the plants on the wall. So to me, at a guess, I'm reckoning they can't drain. I don't really think there's much you can do about stuff like that if you're gonna keep plants on the wall like that. Yeah, it's cool, yeah, it's awesome. But you kinda, I don't really think you can water them when they're on the wall, unless you give them like a tiny amount or you know exactly how much you're giving them. What I would probably do is I would keep the plant in the actual pot inside that. And when I wanna water them, I will take them all off the wall and then do it that way and then put them back. 
So it's a little bit annoying, but they should thrive a little bit better. I think as far as light is concerned, it does look like there's actually enough. It looks like a pretty bright space, but I mean, I don't know if she has artificial lights on, she might, but it doesn't look too bad. I think this could be a watering thing. Worst case scenario, if they all like rot, I will have to replace them with fake plants, but I hope not because the main thing, this table vase right here that's empty, um, I haven't put anything in this yet. And I actually think I'm gonna leave this like this. I kind of like So for me, and this, I, I might end up saying this a lot in this video, I can't just have an empty space like that. And I, I don't think it's actually just me. I think it's plant people generally. If there is a space, we don't put ornaments there, we put plants there because the hobby can just get a little bit out of control. So for me, that probably wouldn't be a vase, that would be a plant, 100%. To be honest, any gap, whether it's on a table, a shelf, the floor, I'm probably gonna find a way to put a plant there. Just saying. But it is a pretty vase. I would probably just put a plant in it. <laughs> This little guy that I use to water my succulents with, this is from ah. Amazon, it's just a little succulent water, and then this little... Okay, so she's watering her succulents, and they don't need much water, but she's watering it with a spray bowl. I can't tell anymore if it's under or over watering because you've got the, the, the pot that doesn't drain, but then you've got watering it via a spray. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, in the case of certainly the succulents, they're handling it okay. But if this room gets super, super dry, they're going to struggle being watered like that. So my advice is still to take the plants out of the pots and do it separately and then pop them back. You would have plants that were just much better. And I think you'd have more peace of mind if you just took them down, watered them, leave them to drain, pop them back up. Juju garden, which I'm also killing. How am I killing an air plant? I don't know, but I am. Um, this is also made by Tia Javier, which is the girl who did my stuff up here. She's That's so cute. The little juju garden, the little crystal. That I is so cute. Thing. I'm obsessed. So cute. And then over here, this is my little birds of paradise. I got it um, at a little local nursery. And the it's pot so is good. actually from Home Goods. Look at that. It's what a brute. It's really pretty. I love this thing. So bird of paradise, I actually have the same plant as Kathleen and it's a really, really good plant. So these need pretty high light. Quite honestly, the, the, it'll do fine where it is because I've seen that in videos and it's it seems to be thriving, no problem. They like a good amount of light and they like to be kept really warm. These are like really, really tropical plants. The only thing I will say is this plant can grow very, very tall. Like I can see a ladder next to Kathleen now. That plant is gonna dwarf that ladder, which I'm guessing that might've been her plan. I don't know if she knows how quickly these things can grow and how tall they can get, but these can get like big. I think we're a way off that, so it's fine, but it's just kind of a word of warning that this thing is gonna get pretty big. It's already big, but it's gonna get even bigger. Not only that, when it does get a little bit bigger, I noticed that her plant is actually next to her computer, which is fine for now because it's not very big and I don't think this is gonna affect it, but Strelitzia are what I like to call drippers. So basically they're gonna drip excess water from the tips of the leaves. So if you're not careful and you have plants too close to electronics, some plants can cause problems there because they drip water from the leaves. Not all plants, but some of them, and this is a prolific dripper. So I guess when this plant gets a little bit bigger, it's like you might need to move it a little bit further away, depending on how, you know, how much those leaves like bow over the, the computer, but it might be fine. I love this ladder. We bought another one, but it was way too short. My ceiling. Yeah, it's gonna outgrow that. So I had to get no a problem. Even taller. This space is also from West Elm. As you guys know, I don't have any. You could put a plant there. <laughs> I really want to put a plant there. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe a Calathea would look really nice. I actually have one like just here behind me. That would look super nice. Calathea White Star. I think they're really good like bedroom plants. I'd probably pop one there. Obviously not in that vase. You'd need a bigger vase and it wouldn't even be a vase, but it would be really cute there. I love that she hasn't even taken the, the stock photos out of the photo frame. She just ran with it. It's great. These little wooden uh, jars, uh, bowls with... You could probably put a plant on that as well. You could, all right, you could. There are so many vertical shelves here. You could get some really beautiful hanging plants to just cascade around the mirror. Just imagine. I know that the aim of this is to incorporate the elements and, you know, there's, there's maybe enough, you know, earth in there already. I don't know, I haven't seen the rest of the room. But if you had hanging plants kind of framing that mirror, that would look the best. Honestly, that would look so, so good. This little faux plant that's going nice and strong, this little guy's from Target. I got this off of Urban Outfitters. There is nothing wrong with putting plants like that aren't real in spots where you can't have plants. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm totally here for it. Sometimes an area would just look better with a plant in it. 
and there's no light, so you can't actually. So honestly, I'm totally advocating this. She's totally doing the right thing. 100%. This wooden ball thing is from my oh, house, house plant and then books. these house plants books that I obviously haven't read because um, <laughs> my house plants are dying. They're from Urban Outfitters. I know that there's a lot of house plant books out there, but honestly, I've never read one ever. I think I get through most of my problems by just Googling most of the time. So I can't even speak for the content of the houseplant books. They're probably great books. If you've read any of these books down below or you have them, let me know. I'm kind of curious. This is my favorite section yes. of the entire room. If you can hear that peaceful little trickle of uh, noise, that is my beautiful little fountain. I got this at Wayfair. I wanted one that was not too big, not too small. I felt like this was the perfect size for my room. And I wanted something that made a noise. Like I didn't want like a this is like a loud, a loud trickle, I feel. So that's actually a really good thing. So I know that Kathleen lives in Miami and I know Miami is really humid, but stuff like this is both great for your mood. It just makes you feel chill and zen, which is kind of what she's getting at. But not only that, but it helps actually increase the humidity in the room for your plants. So it's helping Kathleen now, and it's actually also helping out her plants as well. To what degree, I'm not really sure because it's a little, you know, water feature in the corner. And I don't know if she has aircon on right now, but it's very cute. I do approve. I do approve. And then over here, I have some more plants. Let me, let me tell you a story about these. I feel like these look pretty good. Sometimes I They're like big. to put my plants outside so that they can get like some natural sunlight so they can hang out outdoors with some other plants. But um, I accidentally left this one in the sun and I burned it. But you know, oh. it's fine. I obviously gave it too much sun, but it's fine. It's coming back to life now. Exactly. Yeah. So she's right. She did give it too much sunlight. That is why there's a burn on there. So it's good to take your house plants outside just to get some air through the leaves. It's also really good to take them outside and hose them down or just kind of water them down, like all the leaves and everything. It gets all the dust off that's kind of been lingering in your house. Not only that, but it actually helps with some pests as well. Not all, but some. So it's cool that she's taking her plants outside. But yes, don't leave them in sun, leave them in the shade. Just be very, very careful. Otherwise that happens. It's not great. Your plant will totally recover but kind of looks a bit unsightly for a bit, but it'll totally recover. And the different back here next to it is really, really healthy. I actually thought, and this is no shade to Kathleen, but I actually thought that was fake because it was so perfect and so green. So that one's doing really well underneath the window. However, I can see a table there without a plant on it. I want to put a plant on that. This ceramic pot is from Home Love Goods. And then over here... I have so many, so many of pots like that. It's called a mid-century style planter. They're amazing. You can find them on Amazon, sometimes on Etsy, places like that. They are so, so nice. I have so many in my house. Over here... We're oh, that's a dark area. That is a dark house area. I, I can see a plant, though. What's that? What's that? Bigger one. Danny's gonna build me a bigger nail polish that is... Is it a plant? Maybe it's not a plant. Maybe it's beads. When? He's gonna build that is that house. a plant? You know. No, it can't be a plant. There's no way. So when we walk over here, this is, that's There's it. no way. That's it for my beauty room. That's pretty much it. This is the little hallway situation I have here. We decided to paint this. Oh, that, that, so that is a plant. Out. And I keep a bunch of random things here. I keep some of my crystals here. Oh, it is. I have all of my crystals off of Etsy, by the way. I'm I have intrigued. some air plants here, which, by the way, are also dying. How am I killing air plants? I don't know. So, right. There are a lot of air plants dying here. That I can't tell if the if where she is right now is too dark or not. Because on the footage before, when she was stood outside the hallway, it looked totally dark. Now she's in it, it's lighter. So that could be the exposure on the camera, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like that area is close enough to windows to have plants. Also, it really does depend here how humid the atmosphere is. And I would honestly maybe suggest checking that. You can actually buy things from Amazon to check this sort of stuff. So if I was her, I'd probably be trying to check the humidity in the room just to work out what's going on. But I'm pretty sure that might be a little bit too dark for them. As for watering goes with air plants, what's probably best to do is to take them and actually soak them in like the sink for a few minutes once every week to two weeks, and that should sort them out with watering. I don't really think you need to spray them. I think it's probably best to just take them and soak them. That's probably what I would do. Yeah, it's a shame they're not doing well, but it, th that's quite a dark area, so it's really kind of hard to tell. Or is it dark? I don't know. No, I want to see what that is. Bases that I keep my air plants it in looks a bit like string of pearls. And I keep my uh, ColourPop palettes here. My Zodiac one is... I actually have those two palettes. I'm actually wearing Dream Street on my eyes right now. 
Fun fact, fun fact. This is one of my favorite things in the entire room. Is it for you? Mainly because it's fake and oh. I can't kill it, but this is a faux plant from Home Goods. And I yeah, that looks to me like a fake string of pearls, so it's not really surprising that it's fake and it's looking good. And that's no shade to Kathleen whatsoever. I'm, I'm mainly talking about how dark it is in that corner. So I think she's actually right when she's saying that there isn't really enough light there. But again, that might be why we've got kind of dying air plants, I'm not sure. I'd probably move the air plants to the bathroom. I'm sure she has a bathroom just through there. I love it because it just, it looks real to me. And I like it, does. it here in this It does section, actually look real. Obviously I can't put a real plant here because it gets zero sunlight. Not okay, it is dark. Like that looks dark now. It I didn't look so dark this. before. I like the way she's scattering all her decorations around the plants and stuff. It's actually really cute. It's not something I would do because I just, I don't have the time to kind of dust round it all. It would be a nightmare for me, but it is very cute what she's doing. I like the whole vibe that she's going for. I'm kind of feeling it. I get it. I get, I get what she's doing. I do get it. I got this and that is a big that ass light bulb. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, see, that looks like aircon right there. Oh my gosh, right above the plants as well. That's not great. I understand it's hot over there, but oh, some plants are okay with that kind of thing. Honestly, some plants are okay, but I think she might be limiting what she can have if the aircon is going full pelt all the time. Plants generally are just not gonna like that. I can't tell if it is aircon, but it it, it looks like it. And then you walk into here. <gasps> oh, it's so light, so it's so the light. the bathroom, I really didn't change much. I just changed up the decor no and I painted this green. There's one in the background. Green. This used to be like a beige color, but we thought changing this and making it like a <sighs> nice green would change the bathroom completely. And I love it. I feel like it's With a no nice pop of color. So a bathroom is like the prime place to put plants because it's so humid. It's just humid all the time. And that looks like a really bright bathroom. And I think I saw what looked like an aloe on the back of her shelves, like where the sink is. That would be so awesome to put a hanging plant and just kind of trail it in front of the mirror. What is it with me in trailing plants in front of mirrors? I think I might have to do this. So we're still in the bathroom, but I made my sister-in-law stand over there so that I can- There's so much light. <laughs> There's so, so much I light. This little, this little situation I've had ah. for a while too. I kept this in here when we remodeled. I bought Love this that. off of Etsy. And then the stuff on here is kind of mm -hmm. random. This mm -hmm. is a gift from one of my subscribers. These little crystals are from Etsy. This Hanging plants. Hanging plants. Cuba. This aloe vera plant <sighs> is from Home Depot. Honestly, the, the space and the light is just prime for a beautiful hanging plant, like a philodendron or something. It's so prime for that. Don't get me wrong, the aloe is cute, but hanging plant where you've got verticality, hanging plants will always look sick. Always, always. And then right behind you, we have my shower curtain, which this is from Urban Outfitters. Look at the and window, I'm man. I'll show you what's behind the shower curtain, but it's hot. Although she has no window sills, I'm noticing, really. So yeah, I get why there'd be no plants on there. Plus, I mean, I don't actually like plants on window sills very much. All my windows are like floor to ceiling windows. So I don't have any either. So I get the struggle, but oh, great light so conditions, man. storage situation Just great. There. Yeah, it's a lot of scary, <laughs> crazy stuff back there. And then these letters, I used to have mm. these where the light is here. <laughs> Very planty. I know it wasn't supposed to be planty, but that's kind of planty, right? That's not just me being obsessed, right? That's that's kind of planty. It's kind of planty. I think I covered everything. Oh my God, we're done. Okay guys, so <gasps> that completes it. this room tour. That's pretty much where See I got says. everything. And that's what this room looks like now. I feel so much happier in this room ever since I remodeled, well I didn't remodel, but ever since I changed things around, especially bringing natural plants into the room, that just completely changed the game. I really wanted to bring the four elements into this room. I don't know if you guys noticed, I completely forgot to talk about it. I'm looking at it now, but my humidifier, um, it's shaped like a moon, it's on oh, my vanity. I didn't, I didn't and I got that. that off of the Poosh website, the Kourtney Kardashian brand. So yeah, obviously humidifier is gonna massively help. So I didn't see that the first time she didn't mention it. So that's kind of cool that she's got that and it's very cute as well. I don't know, I bought that off of that website and that is how I brought the air element into this room. So I have earth, air, nice. fire, and then my fountain is water. So I just feel so connected to the elements in here and I I'm really not surprised. love it and I I'm just feel so much better. I feel happier. My mood has instantly changed. I felt just not good in the other room. I'm not a fan of change. Um. So it's interesting she said that because plants actually increase, you know, they, they improve your mental health so much. It's actually one of the reasons I started collecting house plants. I think when I moved here to Manchester, there was like, I was just in a flat with four walls and no plants. And it it's pretty depressing because the city doesn't really have plants either. So that's kind of how I started collecting plants. 
And honestly, the changes they make to your mood and your mental health is astronomical. And it's actually good for the air. They clean the air, they help with the humidity, which is good for your skin. Skin's gonna be thriving in that shit. Really good, really good. So I'm not surprised she's feeling better at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, that was actually quite a lot of plants. I expected a few, but I didn't actually expect that many. So that's really awesome. And there's a mix of real and fake in there. She has some succulents in there. She has like, I think she had a couple of aroids. Maybe she definitely had one aroid. I hope Kathleen's able to take care of her plants either through like trial and error or just something else. Maybe, maybe looking it up, maybe reading those books. I don't know how useful those books are, honestly. But it's cool to see that she's adding plants to her space. It's cool to see that more people nowadays are actually adding them to their space, which is really, really good. That's great. That makes me very happy. And Kathleen, if I could just get you to come over to our side of the fence and get into houseplants and fall down that rabbit hole, that would be amazing. And if Kathleen wants any rare houseplants, come to me. I'm happy to send a couple over. I think they would look so good in there. I want to send a variegated Monstera to Kathleen so badly. I think it would look absolutely stunning. So I'm pretty satisfied with that as a plant person. I think that's that's pretty cool. She's doing quite well. Everyone has to start somewhere with plants. Honestly, that's how we all started. That's how the entire houseplant community started. Nobody just started growing things and things were thriving straight away. Do you know what I mean? We've all gone through this. We've all had problems where we've killed things and we've had to buy new ones and sometimes we've done fake plants instead. It's just, it's a learning curve and I'm really pleased that she's maybe maybe hopping on that bandwagon. I don't know. It was cool to watch though. Plus that beauty room is honestly, it's goals. It's really goals. I realize this is a completely different video to what I normally do. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you'd like to see any more of my normal content that I put out, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And also I may have a second channel. I did talk about this a little while ago, but I finally made it. It's Kaylee Ellen Unfiltered. I will leave the link down below. And if you want to see basically just random stuff, it could be hair, it could be makeup, it could be kind of anything, then please do take a look at that and subscribe. You can also see as of right now how I did this to my hair. My hair didn't look like this in the last video. Well, didn't look like this yesterday either. So if you want to see how I did this at home, then hop over to that channel. I will leave the link in the description below. And I think that's it. I hope you're all doing very well, all things considered. Please stay safe and stay at home. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.